John chapter 6. Jesus feeds the 5,000. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is, the Sea of Tiberias, and a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the miraculous signs he had performed on the sick. Then Jesus went up on the hillside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover feast was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked, the only, he asked this only to test him, for he had already known in his mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Eight months' wages would not buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of uh, his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will that go among so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. There are, was plenty of grass in that place, and the men sat down, about 5,000 of them. Jesus then took the loaf, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled twelve baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. After the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who has come to the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again into the hills by himself. Christ likes to go off by himself. <coughs> Jesus walks in the water. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where, when they, where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. When they had rowed three or three and a half miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I, don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. The next day the, the, crown, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there, and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but they had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor the disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. Jesus, the bread of life. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, you are looking for me, not because you saw miraculous signs, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him, God the Father had placed the seal of approval. When they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The word of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What miraculous sign then will you give that we may see and believe you? What will you do? Our forefathers ate the manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread for having to eat. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, from now on give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. That's a mouthful. At this the Jews began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets that we'll all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. I tell you the truth. 
He who believes has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your forefathers ate the man in the desert, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which a man may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If a man eats of this bread, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give you for the life of the world. Then the, G then the Jews begin to argue sharply among themselves. How can this man give us the flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh, flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Jesus, just as in the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Our forefathers ate manna and died, but he who feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Many disciples desert Jesus. On hearing it, many of the disciples said, This is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, Does this offend you? Are you not entertained? Uh, he, he didn't say that last part. Does this offend you? What if you see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? The Spirit gives life, the flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you are spirit, and they are life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe, and he would betray them, and who would betray him. He went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled him. From this time many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. He had 5,000 people, now a lot of them were like, yeah, I don't know, he's looking kind of weird here. Huh, you do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know you are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus replied, Have I not chosen you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He meant Judas, the son of Simon Issachar, who thought one of the twelve would later who through through who who though one of the twelve was later to betray him. That's in the parentheses, interesting. Why is the sky blue? Why is water wet? Why did Judas grab the Romans while Jesus slept? Nobody will ever know. Except for Jesus and Judas. But Judas regrets it. I'm not gonna get into it. But. That was uh John chapter six. Um that's the reason um a lot of people Christian, Christians. I'm a Christian, but um, I'm an interesting kind of Christian. But um, the uh, um, the taking of the wine and the um, cracker, um, you know, that's John chapter six explains the the blood and the life of Christ. All right, my name is Gregory Brandt. Uh, click the thumbs up and the subscribe, and go ahead and check out my other channels as well. Have a nice day and uh, hope you enjoy my reading of John chapter 6.